MathCAD allows you to reference one or more worksheets in a different worksheet. In the MathCAD user interface, this functionality is called Include Worksheet. It's extremely useful for situations where you want to reuse the definitions and calculations you already have in other files. Or, when you want to create a presentation worksheet, keeping your math definitions in a separate file. You can find Include Worksheet on the Input Output tab. To use this functionality, your included worksheets do not need to be open. In fact, you can even cache the included data to ensure that the calculations in your worksheets do not fail when the reference worksheet is not accessible. Let's look at a few examples. We can start by including an external worksheet in the current worksheet we're working with. We can do this from the Input Output tab or use the keyboard shortcut Control shift w We'll go ahead and select the file we want to include. So let's choose Include Worksheet number 1. In our example, the referenced worksheets all reside in the same folder, but you can just as well reference worksheets from anywhere on your local system drive or from other computers on your network. Let's open included worksheet number 1 just to see what's in it. We can see that variable M holds the definition of a 3x3 identity matrix. Variable G uses the multigrid partial differential equation solver to calculate heat flow on a square plate. You can find both these examples in the MathCAD documentation. Going back to our example worksheet, let's add variable M and try to evaluate it by typing in M and equal sign. Sure enough, M equals to the 3x3 identity matrix defined in the included worksheet. But what happens if definitions change in the included worksheet? Let's change M to a 4x4 matrix and save the file. In the example worksheet, M is still a 3x3 matrix, so we need to recalculate the worksheet to view the updates. Use the Control F5 keyboard shortcut and the worksheet is recalculated. By default, MathCAD caches the data from the included worksheets. This enables you to use and calculate the parent worksheet even when the referenced worksheets are not accessible. We can simulate this scenario by renaming our referenced file. Again, let's recalculate the worksheet. MathCAD shows a warning stating that the referenced worksheet is not accessible. Include Worksheet is also very practical for visualizing your calculations. You can have all the data and definitions for your plot in a separate worksheet. Let's use variable G to visualize heat distribution. We'll insert a contour plot by using the Control 5 keyboard shortcut and then add G as the term for the z-axis. You can reference multiple worksheets in any given worksheet. Let's include a second worksheet in our current worksheet. We will use Control shift w again and select Include Worksheet number 2. If we try to evaluate M again, you can see that the definition has changed and M now equals 15 kilograms. M has a different definition in Include Worksheet number 2 and this new definition overrides the previous definition. Remember that MathCAD always evaluates expressions in a top-down and left-to-right order. You can select and drag the reference box vertically within the worksheet. So if I drag the reference box below M, we can see that the value of M change. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more MathCAD videos.